Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of Up Against the Clock Web Edition. Uh, you know how it goes by now if you've watched it on TV or if you've watched the Web Edition. Rules are basically the same. Three rounds, 100 points in the first round, 200 points in the second, 300 points in the third. The questions get harder as we go along. And remember, you will be penalized if you ring in early and answer incorrectly. You're actually not penalized if you ring in early. Only if you ring in early and answer incorrectly. So I'm glad we cleared that up. Get your pencils and papers out. Let's see, uh, let's see how up with the current events and politics you are this week. We'll start with the 100-point round. Easiest questions. These should be very simple for you. First question, 100 points. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder announced this week that he is resigning from his position after almost six years on the job, but will stay on until a replacement is confirmed. Who did Holder replace as Attorney General in 2009? Was it A, Michael Mukasey, or B, Alberto Gonzalez? Think about that. Write down your answer. Lock your answer in. And if you said A, Michael Mukasey, and give yourself 100 points because you're right. So congratulations. Next 100-point question. In an interview with Elle magazine, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg shot down suggestions that she should leave her post saying, anybody who thinks that if I step down, Obama could appoint someone like me, they're misguided. What year was Ginsburg confirmed to the court? Was it A, 1990, or B, 1993. And if you said A, 1990, you lose 100 points because you're wrong. George Bush Sr. was president in 1990. He never would have appointed Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but Bill Clinton would have, and he did in 1993. So if you said B, give yourself 100 points. And that brings us to the end of the 100-point round. We move to the 200-point round. A little harder, a little more valuable. A uh, 200-point question is this. Hundreds of flights across the country were canceled on Friday when a fire broke out at an FAA control center outside of this major airport hub city. Major airport hub city. Was it A, Denver, or B, Chicago? And if you said the fire happened in or near Chicago, B, correct, 200 points for you. And if you said Denver, well, God help you, because you just lost 200 points. And uh, our next 200-point question, moving right along here, rapid speed, is this. This week, the first female fighter pilot from this country took part in airstrikes against ISIS in Syria. Which country is she from? Is she from A, the United Arab Emirates, or B, Saudi Arabia? A lot on the line here. Think long and hard about this. Well, don't think too long because we've got to give you the answer in a second. But think very hard and lock in your answer. This is a 200-point question. And if you said A, United Arab Emirates, then you're correct. You're 200 points richer. And you're very, very impressively smart knowing that. That's a very, that's a very hard 200-point question. And that, uh, that brings us to the end of the 200-point round. And when we reach the end of the 200-point round, it can only mean one thing. It's time for the 300-point round. So here it is. 300 point question. This is the hardest question we could come up with this week. The most valuable question. Listen very carefully. This A-list actor spoke to the Clinton Global Initiative in New York City this week about his or her work to get clean water to more people. A. Scarlett Johansson or B. Matt Damon. Which one spoke to the Clinton Global Initiative this week about getting clean water to people? Here's a hint, the other one, the other one's for dirty water. So it's a very important distinction here. And the correct answer is B, Matt Damon. Matt Damon wants to get clean water to more people. 300 points for you if you got that one right. 300 points. And that brings us to the end of the game, so it's time to take all those right and wrong answers, add them up, and you could have a total possible score here of 900 points. 900 points will call you a genius. If you have uh, 700 or more, we'll call you a scholar. Anything less than that, you didn't do your homework this week. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, congratulations to those of you who, who did well. Thank you to everybody for playing. We'll see you right back here next week, unless you drink too much of that dirty water that Scarlett Johansson is trying to sell you. That's not true. She's, I'm sure she's for clean water. We just we had to say something. Have a great week. Goodbye.